What's going on? The dwarfs suspend construction of the road because something's blocking the site. What is it? Oh, a piece of refuse. A cat came and sabotaged the building by dropping off some demon rat remains. You damn cats. Sabotaging everything. We'll get that picked up and get these roads finished. Because I'm eager to flood this and I want to see if that shower system works or not. Start washing some of these dwarves off. Drop it, cat. Well, Juju Dog, you finally caved in and died from thirst. You held out for quite some time. It's 25th slate mid spring. I don't remember exactly when you went crazy, but I'm pretty sure it was a while ago. Um, there's not anything else going on around in the fort. The military is still getting set up, moving around, and I'm currently trying to get all the bodies on the map reclaimed and brought to our refuse piles. Start turning them into totems and bones and armor for the military since they don't have leather. Um, they're sparring, wrestlers sparring. And I only have one training dummy, unfortunately. Let's see, can I build any more yet? Training dummy, yeah, we can. Let's see, place it here. Can build one more. So, we'll let them go and collect more silk for us because that's the only thing I'm missing. Eventually, I think we're going to have a whole room filled with these things. Maybe I'll start turning this bedroom into a, um, a bunk room and a training dummy room. Well, it would appear that our base is being invaded by a group of harpies. So there's at least one here. And looks like Metal Slime Hunt is right next to it. We'll unpause it. He takes charge and charges after the harpy. And strikes it down easily. Somebody died. A war dog has bled to death. There's another harpy, it said. Where is it? Right there. Oh, it's all the way outside. It's chasing a poor kitty. Run, kitty, run. Run through the bushes as fast as you can. I'm pretty sure the cat is much faster than the harpy. Unless it doubles back, double backs and runs right into it. Well, we don't care about cats. They breed too quick anyways. Ah, the Dusk Elf Dyer from Rolla Rilly Rilori has arrived. It is 14th fell site late spring. And finally we get to see the merchants make that long walk down the tunnel. Um, we do have plenty of trade goods, plenty, plenty of craft goods this year to trade them, thankfully. And their diplomat is quick. He's eager to meet our expedition leader, Mean Melter. Mean Melter has ruled um, justly. He hasn't been voted out of power yet, so that says something. Normally the dwarves are quite fickle about the people they vote in and out every season changing. Thankfully, we've almost got these roads done. I also remembered to put roads here so trees don't grow up there. And I'm making flood grates to put over this. That way the water can just go down over it. How many flood gates do I have? Place this one. Blocked it, blocked it. Um, I guess I may have messed up there. Oh well, we will have flood gates. Flood gates here. Oh, I don't know how flood gates work either, but I guess I'll find out. I'll have to build a floor right there. Quit channeling that out, you psychopaths. What are you doing? Who gave you a permit? So I'll figure this out, because this is where the water is going to drain down to once it showers over them from above. And then it'll go down this pipe, down, down, down. I know I've showed you, but right there, sploosh into the water there. And we'll dump it all there for the merchants. Who should be down to our trade depot any time. Interrupted by a harpy. Mr. Fancy Pants. He's right there. The harpy is fighting Metal Slime Hunt, who is unhurt. The harpy is in extreme pain. Both of his wings are broken, dangling by tendons. The Metal Slime Hunt lunges and runs the harpy through. 
and then stands triumphantly on its corpse with one knee lifted. Got all the new migrants as well, um, gathering plants just to help, I guess, help our farmers supply the food that we need because we're down to 42 plants and plenty of seeds. So hopefully these merchants brought some food too. Are they down there yet? No, it's a long walk. What died down here? Where are they at? They're not on that level. There they are. God damn you dwarves. You bastards for this stairwell. So far down in the dark. I'm going to charge you extra for this walk. Oh yeah, and this is a whole bunch of bedrooms that I've got planned out for the dwarves. Everyone's going to get, hopefully, a decent sized bedroom with plenty of coffers and cabinets for them to store their stuff in. That way it isn't laying around all over the place. Gather those plants! Um, let's see, I guess I should carry some stuff there. Where's our crafts bins at? One, two, three, only four? I'm pretty sure that they'll be loaded down though, and we'll have anybody can come trade. Because normally RAR, our broker, is too slow, and I don't want to wait until the merchants are about to leave. They grab the bins from the storage shed, hauling them over to the trade depot. What's going on? Need plump helmet spawn? Oh, I guess I need to cook the plump helmet or something, or maybe we've run out and planted it all. Hurry up and harvest the plump helmet fields. We need their delicious tender meat. And they are ready to trade, so let's see. I am willing to trade my goods bins. Because I'm pretty sure that I have enough wood to make more. As long as I don't sell any of the ropes, that is. Yep, there's the ropes. I don't want to part with those. So we'll just manually select all this. It's just brace the bracelets, crowns, earrings, scepters and stuff, all made from that worthless slate rock. And I'm just going to manually select this one too. I'm sure that there is... I know I've got more ropes somewhere. Figure of a what? Figure of a rabbit. This is the slate figurine of a rabbit. It is an image of a rabbit in slate by Thob Earth Zunter. Don't know which dwarf that is. The day sight scepter, cave spider stuff. Wait, nope, don't get rid of those ropes. Even though that is a lot of money for the ropes. A slate figurine of dwarves. Let's look at that before selling it. A slate figurine of dwarves. An image of dwarves in slate by Lorben Item Bumtis. Oh well. You guys will get better at making your figurines. They're still basically macaroni doodles at this point. But we'll trade all this away for the glass for sure so we don't have another juju incident. And I'll trade for all their wood simply so I don't have to cut any. What else do we need? Uh, I could use their cages because I would like to set up a few cage traps. That way, say, if an, uh, an arachnia wanders into one, I can ease my mind a little bit and we can tame it someday. Provided it hasn't ate a dwarf by that point. I'm going to buy all of their alcohol because I've been out for a really long time and just don't have enough food to make any more of it. Don't need any armor. Well, I do, but I don't have the money for it. We'll buy the pickleberry seeds, the watermelon seeds, cotton fiber bag. I don't think that is a seed bag. Loamy sand? No. I could use some plaster. Hopefully I can spot that if I... If they actually brought it. And I'll buy all this leather because, again, I'm making leather armor for everyone. Hopefully I am. We've got a full, what, um, 20 dwarves in the military now? Almost half of our forces. Almost half of our fort population. Man, they brought a lot of leather bins. And they're all cheap. We'll never have to worry about leather. Okay, that's enough of your leather. I want your food now. Should I buy an anvil? I think I'll spend it all on food for now. Probably go take off a few of those bins, actually. 
Oh, they brought us a lot of food. These must be the elves we signed that food treaty with. We don't need any cheese, but they did bring a nice amount of it. So, let's see. Actually, we can sell some ropes. I've got plenty of cave spider silk down here in the caverns. So, select it all. There we go. Hello, my dear elves. I think we finally finished the paperwork up here. Are you willing to accept a profit of 264 dwarf bucks? Oh, wonderful. Thank you for your business. And we kept a pigtail rope and two slate scepters. So we will go ahead and let the dwarves unload this. It is 22nd fell site. 317 I think it said. And there's no wild animals or demons on the map. Only a pack of goats again. We've gotten lucky. Meh. kind of a slight problem. There is a pack of scorpions who have just arrived south of our caverns town. Um, we're going to go ahead and mobilize this little group of individuals, the Razors of Talking, our cavern squad. We'll see how quick they get there. I've got um, a bunch of leather shops over here now. They're all pumping out armor. So hopefully as they get it um, produced, the troops will go grab it. Right now they're just wearing, yeah, they're wearing it. Elk bird leather gauntlet, mittens, a leather robe. Unfortunately, most of them are wrestlers because I still don't have um, any weapons for them. I guess I could use those few copper bars that we've got and turn them into short swords or something for them. Well, there is a lot of them here. Let's see, who do we have? We have King of Croatia, Dijin Lord, Jello Snark, Slaxer, 25 volunteers, and Master Azra. So we'll go ahead and send you down here. We'll give you the kill command. Get ready to kill group B. There are six scorpions. It says, their description says that they are dog sized and that their poison is extremely deadly. Maybe our doctors will get some work. The groups charge and clash. One scorpion gets instantly hacked down. His tail flies off. King of Croatia, you're winded. You've been poisoned, stabbed in the lower spine, right in the neck. Two scorpions take off after you. Ozyman Diaz, Mandias. I'm sorry if I mangle that name pretty bad. I can't seem to get it. Dijin Lord, you're fine. Everyone else charges. King of Croatia, the poison has paralyzed you and melted your brain. You just got here and you're already gone. The other military charges. They're unhappy having just lost one of their friends. And look who shows up now. Jello Snark, Mean Melter, and Pete and One decide to come down and see what all the fuss was about. Jello Snark's like, I just got done dying. Screw you guys. I'm gonna stay up there and let you fight it out for a bit. We have Slaxer. He's got a right upper leg and a left lung injury. Ozzy, you've got a lower spine injury, but you're still standing. I think everyone else will be fine. So, we lost one person there, King of Croatia. Um, rest in peace to you. Hopefully we can take these scorpions back to our butcher shops and our leather shop and turn their chitins into some hardened armor. They'd make us some nice shields if we use their carapace. Hey, like my micro-clean road, my micro-cline. I think I'm going to use this blue micro-cline down here to pave our roads with. It kind of twinkles in the dark cavern torchlight, I guess. So it is ninth hematite, early summer. We'll bury the dead there and let the dwarves get back to, to mining out these bedrooms and producing artifacts.